Hi, everybody. My name is Joel Matolomeu. I'm from Brazil and um, I've been living in Switzerland since 21 years now. I work in the CERN, which is a center of uh, research of physics de particules. And I've been there for um, 20 years now. I work in the financial parts. I'm responsible of uh, the management of, of the financial funds for the European project that we receive in the IT department. And I'm the um, administrative manager of the CERN School of Computing. Now, I let. Did. My name is Sebastian Lopiński. Uh, I come from Poland, but I also work at CERN, which is this uh, particle physics laboratory, European laboratory for nuclear research, as my colleague Joelma said. Um, and uh, I am a computer scientist, so I do computing, or even more precisely, I do computer security. Uh, we can say that uh, I'm in a team that protects CERN from hackers. Um, but I'm here uh, at Medils for another reason. Uh, we are here because we organize a CERN School of Computing, which we will talk about, uh, I guess, in a moment. Perhaps we should actually still say something about CERN. Yes. So... Well, CERN, uh, I, can, I can start yeah. and then you, you, should, uh, you should add more. Uh, so CERN is this um, European laboratory for particle physics. It's based in Geneva, Switzerland. Is, uh, is the biggest uh, accelerator physics uh, and particle physics laboratory in the world. So this is where the Large Hadron Collider, this huge accelerator of 27 kilometers, this is where it runs. And this is where thousands of uh, scientists, well, physicists, uh, do experiments of different kinds, particle experiments. Uh, and, uh, well, then I'm a computer engineer, so uh, I only understand part of it, but basically what they do is they collide particles uh, they uh, then hope that new particles will be created in those collisions of accelerated particles, the, and then physicists observe, the, observe those new particles um, and hope to draw some conclusions or hope to prove some theories or perhaps uh, find that some other theories are wrong. And then for, for this aspect, uh, to analyze those, uh, those data that come from experiments, from, from observ observing those collisions, uh, physicists do it with computing, and that's why there's IT department where both of us work, because physicists need a lot of computing and a lot of computing power and computing expertise to do their job. Yes, and the CERN, at CERN we have also found the particle that's called, called the... Higgs boson. Exactly. So um, we have uh, 23 uh, European member states, even, yeah, European yeah. member states, um, and we have associate, member associates, from them, the Croatia, Croatia, mm -hmm. get, uh, get uh, member associated this year, in 2021. Yeah. So. And um, perhaps, uh, yes, also, the, so Croatia is exactly one of the associate member states which is, uh, which is uh, involved in, in the, all those research that we do at CERN. Uh, and this is what, one of the reasons why we are here, of course why we bring the CERN School of Computing to Croatia, to, to Medils. Yes, and uh, we have some institutes uh, of Croatia collaborating with CERN. CERN has more than 160 institutes in all around the world collaborating uh, in sciences uh, and bringing uh, students, uh, collaborators from uh, all over the world uh, to, to, to analyze the, the particles, to work in the experiments uh, and uh, we have also other kind of um, uh, areas that we work as, for example, with the web. Huh? That's a good example. Yes, CERNA, it, was, it was at CERNA that the web was, the idea of web came. Yeah. So, in, so, yes, in, in actually it was in 19, uh, well, more than 30 years ago now, in 1989, that this computer engineer, Tim Berners-Lee, uh, Came, so internet already existed and uh, people use different, well, people used email, people use other protocols such as Gopher, FTP, whatever existed at that time, but there was no web, there was no 
web pages, websites, and so on. No HTML language. And this, this engineer at CERN, working at CERN, he proposed this new idea of, of sharing information between, so that physicists from different universities could share kind of documents and information and things would be linked from one to another. And he wrote even this paper about this, proposed this, and no one, of course, understood what is it about. But eventually, uh, you know, he was working on this idea. And then uh, it turned out to be, well, he created the first web server, the first web browser, uh, everything, the, the HTML language, everything that we now know as World Wide Web, uh, which uh, was initially developed at CERN, and then other institutes picked it up, uh, and uh, other, well, it was released free of use, of course, for, 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 for everyone in the world to use it, and to develop it further, and that's how the web took over, uh, took off, and, and then it was major technology obviously used everywhere right now since many, many years. Yeah, and it is because it was at CERN that is so open to the humanity, but because CERN works for the humanity. All we do in at CERN is uh, in profit and benefits of the humanity. This is very good point that uh, it's even in CERN DNA to be open and to actually share results of, well, share results of research, right? Physics exactly. research. Uh, so it's fundamental research. This research is not done to develop new technology or to do anything to sell. It's really fundamental research. Uh, and by, by, by the status of, of the organization, all research results are public, right? Exactly. And following the same logic, the World Wide Web was also publicly uh, published and publicly available and, uh, and shared, and now everyone uses it. Yes, so, so it is a big organization that brings every people together, people from completely different ethnies, origins, uh, countries. Uh, for example, we have people from Israel working with Pakistan, with the Brazilian, with the Polonese. So we are a very open organization where people collaborate together for their humanity. And uh, it's actually because it's true that, uh, well, we said that research is part of um, what CERN does, obviously, fundamental research. Uh, there is certainly this aspect of bringing nations together via science, and well, CERN was created uh, in '54, so less than 10 years after this, the end of the Second World War. Uh, so the idea was also to unite nations, well, European nations initially through science. So, mm -hmm. so this is kind of the second pillar of, of CERN. Third is uh, development of technology, because when you build those huge machines for you know particle colliders, right, accelerators. Uh, detectors, you develop a lot of technologies that are then used anywhere, for example, in uh, medicine or in medical imaging or, or many, many other uh, technologies. That, for the uh, Hayon Weeks, uh, for example, in the airport, it was uh, also developed that in the beginning uh, by CERN. Yeah. And then, and that's why I think it brings us to our school, right? Yes. So then the fourth pillar of CERN is education. Mm -hmm. So part of CERN mission is doing education of, uh, of people on different levels, but, you know, usually young people on uh, things related, of course, to particle physics, but also related technologies. Um, and part of CERN, how CERN does it is uh, CERN organizes, and in particular, well, we organize uh, what is called CERN School of Computing. So it's a school for... Um, usually doctoral students who are uh, working on uh, either particle physics or related, uh, related sciences and who, as most scientists these days, use computing for their, for their research, for their, well, for their research, for their studies, for analyzing of data or for doing simulations. Uh, because without computers, without computing power, it's impossible these days to do, in particular, particle physics research. Yeah. Doctoral students, bachelor students, and uh, any people that are in this field of computing science. Mm. So, this is the... Well, this is the CERN School of Computing. Uh, and thematics and School of Computing that we are doing at Medils. Exactly. And we have been here, this is the eighth time that we are coming to Medils. So, Medils is... Since 2013. Yeah. So we come here every year. Well, last year was difficult because of COVID, mm. uh, but we come here every year for many, many years now. Yeah. Because we are so well received here in this institute and it is a so great place. Uh, we will, will work all the year thinking about the time to come here, you know? So 
Yeah, we bring students from all over the world here also. We have a student from different nationalities that come. We have about 30 students each time that we come here. And the students stay one week with us, uh, full time at Medils. And it's true that it's actually, as you said, it's very, well, it's international school by definition. So uh, it's not uh, our students, the students who come to our school are, uh, some of them work at CERN, some of them work in other laboratories uh, that, or institutes or universities that do particle physics. Uh, and in Europe, but not only. So uh, there are people coming from uh, North America or Latin America or Asia very often, or other Africa. continents, perhaps less often, but as well, exactly. Yes. Mm -hmm. We have this year one person who is Australian with us. Uh, 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 Mexican. And Mexican. Hmm. Um, so it's an international school. Now, we come... Uh, at, so uh, the idea of the school is that we bring all those people together, we bring our uh, teachers, professors, who are usually academic um, professors at, at different universities, um, for the classes, so lectures, exercises, and so on. And this, theoretically, we could do, do uh, anywhere, but there is this logic of bringing them together to one place uh, where those students interact, not only with, not only just following classes, but they they discuss, they have all the informal discussions after the lectures or after the classes uh, over the coffee breaks, lunch breaks, dinners. Um, and for this, being in, in, a, in a place which is welcoming, which is so nice, yes. which is okay, so beautiful <laughs> yeah. as medals, uh, is just uh, helps so much because everyone feels comfortable and everyone actually really profits from being together, being, you know, discussing, learning from each other, uh, interacting creating links that they will profit for, 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 the, for their professional life. Yeah, here we feel like we, feel we were at home. Yeah, that is we true. are very, very well here, near to the beach. They have a so beautiful beach. Even when it is very cold, <laughs> you go swimming. There is no way. That is true. <laughs> yeah, so we, and they, we came here thankful to so uh, the, the person who started organizing uh, the, those schools uh, in Croatia, the very first school was in 2007 in Dubrovnik. And then uh, we came uh, for several, many year schools here, here at Medils. So the person who brought this was a prof is the professor from the University, University of Split, Ivica Puljak. Now, Professor Puljak uh, has recently had to switch from being a professor uh, at University of Split to actually being mayor of the city of Split because he was elected. So I hope and guess this is good news for, for Split. It's probably actually bad news for <laughs> us because we would prefer to keep <laughs> Professor Puljak with us, you know, in academia. And uh, I know that university would prefer to, to keep him. Uh, but okay, yeah. we'll see what who the future will bring. Yes, we, we, fortunately we still have his participation for at least one talk, talk that will be tonight and we are really waiting for it. So, yeah, thanks to, to Ivica Puljak to give us the opportunity to, to come here and to meet Medils Institutes and to be in this great area that I hope we will continue and we will be able to come several years still from now. And it's true that uh, Medius itself, it's a, it's, a, it's a great place. Well, obviously because of the location, I mean, mm. uh, I think it's the only place that they go, we go so, so, for so long time. It's, it's true, it's true and for very good reasons. And yeah. you know, those reasons are, well, obviously once you're here and you see the, the well, the, the infrastructure, the lecture room, um, the, all, the, all the, you know, we, the, 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 the installations, everything, exactly. Mm -hmm. You know, this is very good and this is exactly what we need. Uh, but let's say this we could find in other places. Yes. But, you know, as, 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 uh, as uh, soon as you go out and you see the, the surrounding, the environment, the sea, and so on, we can see, well, we know it and we enjoy it. Yeah. And even more, we see it on the faces, you saw probably on the faces of students when they uh, come and they see the view, wow. they cannot believe yeah. it. <laughs> they, are, they, are, they are really very positively surprised, you know. Uh, yeah. But, and last but not least, I think it's also worth saying that uh, it's not only the place, it's really people who work here. Yes. Because we have major help yeah. from, from we them. We are very well, well, well served, served we can yes. say. And uh, yeah, people are very friendly and uh, we can contact them anytime. During the year, we have a lot of contact with the 
Irena, Elena, with the, I always say the name of the technical is so Prosper. Prosper. I, I heard this name for 10 years, but <laughs> this is my, yeah, Prosper. So thank you, thanks a lot and thanks to the Institute also. Maybe I would also mention something that we didn't mention, that our school has 50 years old, so it's, it's a school that's quite old, but when we started, computing was at the beginning. Yes, yes, yes. well, I, yes. And we have been visiting each year a different country. For example, in 2018, we went to Israel. In 2019, we went to Romania. Each year we go to another place. Medils is the only one that we came eight times following time. <laughs> yeah. Yes, uh, perhaps I will indeed add uh, a bit more about the history of the school mm -hmm. uh, because this is quite spectacular that uh, now we are in 2021. Um, the school, well, last year we cele celebrated the 50th anniversary of the school because mm -hmm. the school, CERN School of Computing, was created in 1970, right? So it's hard for, well, for me as a computer scientist even to imagine what was taught, what was, what was the part of the program in, in uh, 1970, uh, 50 years ago or 51 now. Uh, obviously, computing evolved dramatically and at, you know, those 50 years ago, pretty much no one except for maybe academia used, uh, used, used computers. Uh, and of course, they look completely different than how they were programmed. Mm -hmm. It was completely different. And yet already at that time, CERN, well, as part of its education mission and as part of even doing the research, CERN felt that we need to train more people in computing techniques because computing is already those 50 years ago becoming, well, something that would be needed for to do research. Mm -hmm. So simulations, analysis and so on. Mm -hmm. So that's... Uh, yeah. And I think it will continue evolving. This is the future of the humanity. <laughs> <laughs> I think so, exactly. Okay. Thank, Thank you. you very much.